Hello friends, let us see the minimum number of aircraft puzzle. In this puzzle, you intend to fly non-stop around the world. But fuel is available only at your home place in the whole world. Also, you can go only halfway around the world on a full tank. Now, you can arrange as many planes exactly like yours to assist with the refueling. So, what is the minimum number of planes that you would require for a round trip? There are some conditions to be noted. Ignore any extra fuel consumption as a result of acceleration or evaporation of fuel. Now, each airplane must return and depart from the same airport that is the only airport they can land and refuel on ground. Each airplane must have sufficient fuel to return to the airport. Now assume that refueling is an extremely fast process and the amount of fuel the planes can carry will be zero as long as the other airplane is refueling these planes. So can you now guess what is the minimum number of planes required? Let me give you a hint. Let's start with plane 1. Is it possible to travel with only one plane? Well, the answer is but obvious no because we know that we can go only halfway around the world with the few full tank. So let's start with two planes. Think over whether is it possible to travel with two planes. I request you to kindly pause the video and think for a while. Let us see the solution. Let us try with the combination of three planes. Now let D be the distance of the world to be traveled and F be the total fuel in the fuel tank. For simplicity, let us consider that all the three planes have full tanks at the starting point, which is the home point. And F fuel is required to travel a distance of D by 2. This let us see how we can manage with three planes. For simplicity, let us consider that round the world trip distance to be traveled is 32 kilometers. Now, since each plane can travel only half of this distance with a full tank. So let us assume that each plane travels at 1 kilometer for each liter of fuel. That is, with a full tank, each plane can travel a distance of 16 kilometers. Now, let us assume that all the three planes start from this home place and they travel one-eighth of the total distance at a point A. It means that they have traveled 32 by 8, that is 4 kilometers. Right? We know that each of these planes has a capacity to travel 16 kilometers since they have 16 liters of fuel in it. So after one eighth of the total distance, each plane would have a remaining fuel to travel for 16 minus 4 that is 12 kilometers. So this can be explained here in this equation. 
initially at the starting the fuel was 16 liters 16 minus 16 by 4 that is 4 3 f by 4 gives 12 now at this point a this blue plane would transfer some of its fuel to both these green and orange planes. Now understand carefully that at this point each plane has the potential to travel 12 kilometers. So what if this blue plane transfers 4 kilometers of fuel to the green plane, 4 kilometers of fuel to this orange plane and with the remaining 4 kilometers of fuel it returns back to home. So it means after refueling this green plane again has 16 liters of fuel so it can now travel further a distance of d by 2 that is 16 kilometers from this point A. Similarly the orange plane can travel a distance of 16 kilometers from point A and with the remaining fuel this blue plane flies back home for a stretch of 4 kilometers to reach safely at the home airport. Now let us see the situation when the planes start moving from point A to point B and they cover a distance of 1 by 4 that is total distance of 32 by 4 that is 8 kilometers from the home airport. Now let us see what is the fuel condition of each plane. From the starting point A to B the distance between these points is again 4 kilometers and distance between home and A is 4 kilometers. So it means that both our green and orange planes are 8 kilometers from the home airport. Now at point A, green plane had a total fuel of 16 liters that is it could travel 16 kilometers from point A further. Similarly, this orange plane also has 16 kilometers fuel. Now in traveling from point A to point B, they spent 4 kilometers of fuel in this journey. So the remaining fuel is now 12 kilometers and 12 kilometers. Now at this point of time, this orange plane would transfer some of its fuel to this green plane and it would return back home. Now the question is how much fuel does it return? Since we know that each plane has to land safely at home, so this orange plane would require 8 kilometers of fuel to return back home from point B. So it would transfer to this green plane 4 kilometers of fuel and with the remaining 8 kilometers of fuel, it would return safely to its home airport. So now at point B, the condition of fuel is for this green plane, it can now again travel a distance of 12 plus 4 that is 16 kilometers from this point B and this orange plane returns back safely at home. Now let us see the next condition. Now suppose this green plane starts from point B and reaches point C. So the distance traveled between B and C is 1 by 4 of 32 that is 8 kilometers. So this green plane now has a remaining fuel for 8 kilometers. So at this instant the blue plane refuels itself and starts moving in this direction to meet the green plane. 
Now let us see what would be the meeting point of these planes. Since we know that the blue plane started from the home airport and the green plane started from point C. We saw in the previous slide that the green plane has 8 kilometers of fuel remaining. So it can travel up to this point D from C to D. Now this blue plane also travels 8 kilometers in this direction to meet this green plane. At this point of time, this green plane has no fuel in it remaining. The blue plane that has arrived has 8 kilometers of fuel remaining in it. So it is evident here that the green plane is out of fuel at this point of time. So immediately this blue plane would transfer 4 kilometers of fuel to this green plane. Now both the green and the blue planes have 4 kilometers of fuel left. So it means that both these planes can travel from point D to point E covering 4 kilometers each. Now at this point of time the orange plane refuels itself and starts to move towards this point E. Let us see what happens now. Now let us again analyze the condition of fuel in each plane at point E. Both the green and the blue planes have zero fuel remaining. Now this orange plane which travels from the home station to this point E covers a distance of 4 kilometers that is 1 by 8 of the total distance. So the remaining fuel in this orange plane is 16 minus 4 that is 12. Now we can easily think that each plane has to travel only 1 by 8th of the total distance that is 4 kilometers to reach back home safely. So this orange plane transfers 4 kilometers of fuel in the blue plane. Another 4 kilometers of fuel in this green plane. And with the remaining 4, all the 3 planes start moving towards the home airport and hence reach safely at the station. Thank you and keep watching.